Boston is celebrating its first National Hockey League title in 39 years, while Vancouver is cleaning up from a riot started by angry, drunken fans after last night's deciding Game 7. Rick Price of our Seattle station, Cairo, is in Vancouver this morning with the latest on the situation there. Rick, good morning. What's happening up there? Good morning, Chris. I got to tell you, it got so violent here in the downtown area last night that our nightside crew had to move away from this parking lot over to Stanley Park. They were just not feeling safe at that point. Take a look at some of these pictures that they made, and you can see why. Now, seconds after the game ended, chaos began as rioters started overturning cars. Our crew did not see police anywhere in the beginning to stop it. As the anger over the loss to the Boston Bruins heated up, rioters set fire to the overturned cars and eventually riot police did move in. Now, police had closed the major bridges into downtown Vancouver during the height of the riot so that people could not get into the heart of the city. Those bridges were reopened by about 2.30 when we arrived in town. We did see in the last hour or so a number of overturned cars still on the street. We did see quite a lot of broken glass, windows broken out of department stores and banks downtown. People are already starting to clean up, though, and glass repair trucks are literally everywhere. Now, people People are already thinking beyond this. They're very embarrassed about it. They think it's given Vancouver a real black eye. I've already found a Facebook page this morning that's dedicated to organizing a cleanup, getting people volunteering, coming down to downtown Vancouver and helping between now and Saturday. So that's the way it looks right now. Again, a lot of people very embarrassed about this, but there's also a lot of broken stuff. Yeah, well, they should be. Rick Price in Vancouver from our Seattle station, Cairo. Rick, thanks so much.